Behind this cardboard is probably the four best comics I think I've ever sent out to be graded. So if you want to know what they are, stick around and I'll give you my predictions. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today, I am going to show what I think, in my opinion, is by far the best four books that I am sending out to get graded. Now, of course, this is my opinion. Yours might be different, but I'm very excited about these. Uh, by the time you see this video, the comics will have already been mailed out because I have a couple of videos I wanted to show before this. And plus, as you've probably already seen, if you haven't, uh, I hope you check it out. Um, I totally forgot to uh, post the video of last month's four, so I just did that a couple of days ago, so hopefully you'll check those out. Uh, PGX is in a little bit of a delay at this point. Uh, they, are, they have two months of my comics already. Um, some of them are still waiting to be graded because of their... Uh, getting new cases and everything, so that did do a delay. I mean, those things happen, but uh, I'm looking forward to getting those back eventually. But there is a delay, so I'm not expecting these back in the promised 30-day time period. But you know what? As long as I get them back and they're graded and I'm happy, that's all I care about. So they've been, didn't, they have done nothing but good for me, so I cannot complain. So I'm going to show you the books. I'm going to tell you the price I paid for them. I'm going to give my predictions of what I believe the grades would come out to. And then basically I wait until they're returned and I do a live unboxing of these where I don't know the grades so you can learn them with me. So here we go. Uh, these Most of these are books that I just got recently. And um, eventually I will turn around and sell these uh, to help my wife and I move somewhere warmer. We still haven't found a good place, but we have narrowed it down to a couple of different states thanks to some of my awesome subscribers uh, giving us some tips and some advice. But uh, grading these and waiting for the movies to come out are going to definitely help these become hopefully more valuable so I could turn around and sell them. Speaking of which, I am selling some of my comics. If you look in the description all the way at the bottom, it'll give the details. I do like mystery boxes. Uh, hopefully you'll give it a try. And I will do my best to make you happy. So, making you happy right now about seeing the comics? Here we go. First one up. And this is the worst of the bunch, if you want to call it worst. To me, it's one of those, and I'm going to kind of move this so you can see it a little closer. To me, low grade is better than no grade, so I'm happy regardless. I mean, who wouldn't want a 9.8? But considering that would probably be about 30,000, 40,000 don't happen to have that kind of extra cash, so I'll take what I can get. This is Strange Tales issue number 110, which is the first appearance of Doctor Strange. i uh, very happy to acquire this book. This is actually my second book of this. Uh, the other one I have is a .5, and it's missing a couple of pages. So even though this is still a low grade, it's an upgrade to what I already have. So that means if I ever want to sell one of these, I could sell the lower one and still have this. That's why I always tell people, get multiple copies of books if you can. So this way, if you ever want to do a trade or if you do have to sell them or want to sell them, you still have the books. So I highly recommend that. So I paid a total of $551.44. That includes shipping and handling. I always factor that in because that is part of the cost. Um, the seller said this is about a 2.0. Not really sure about that. There is some, I guess at some point, a child must have wrote and they outlined here, but that's okay. There's a little bit of pen there. You can see there's a lot of breakage. There's a piece missing of the cover here and here. There's a bunch of color breaking stress lines uh, on the top as well. Little piece missing there. Um, I think this might be a 1.5 to a 1.8. But I'll stick with the 1.5 to 2.0 to see if the seller was right. Um, to me, this looks like it has about off-white pages. So, um, again, first appearance of Doctor Strange. Looking forward to seeing what grade that comes out with. As long as it's complete, it will be an upgrade from what I have. Speaking of upgrade, uh, this is a, a comic that got stolen from me years ago. This comic is actually in better condition than the original one I had. Not by much, 
but definitely, and I'll explain why. This is my third copy. Now, it took me about two years of searching to find the first one. Now, the other two I have a lower grade. I think it's like 3.5, and the other one has been, uh, hasn't been graded yet. So they're definitely lower grades. But it took me about two years of trying to get this book before I actually won one that I was comfortable with. Um, it shows that sometimes when you want something, don't just buy the first one that you see. Because if you do base your decisions on solely emotion um, and not having patience, you're going to overpay. So I missed a lot of auctions. I passed up a lot of auctions. It, like I said, it took me over two, two and a half years to finally get the first one. And now I'm up to my third in about a year and a half. So once you get the first one, for some reason, it becomes a little bit easier to acquire. But it does take patience. So I highly recommend that so you don't regret your decision later on, especially if you have to sell it or trade for it and find out you're not going to get the value of what you paid for it. That's very discouraging. So be careful when you make a purchase. Don't be afraid to ask for a deal or at the very least wait for a deal. Patience is key. So this, of course, is the first appearance of the Green Goblin and his wonderful flying magical vacuum. Um, eventually, it's just a matter of time before the Green Goblin is seen again in an Amazing Spider-Man movie. I think they've been delaying it because they've used them before and they want to use other characters. But, I mean, like I've said before, not using... Um, the Green Goblin in a Spider-Man movie is like not using the Joker or not using Lex Luthor in a movie. So eventually it's going to happen. I, I really think so. So this is a book I would highly recommend getting in any grade. Again, make sure you pay the right price. Know how much these are worth and pay under it. Don't settle for just the first thing that you see. Now, the person that sold this to me says um, they think it's about a 7.0. Um, I'm going to be a little conservative on it. Of course, these are all going to be pressed and dry cleaned, so that might help it a little bit. But there's a little tiny little piece missing on the cover there, like literally the size of about a, if you took two or three BBs and put them together, it'd be about that size. So not a major thing. And a tiny little bit of color break on the top and one little color break right there. But other than that, this book is gorgeous. Now, the one I had, look just as good but right here the one that got stolen from me had a color breaking crease that folded over all the way across and went across uh the hulk's face so this one's pretty comparable to the one i bought back in the days now that book i spent a total of 80 dollars for back in the 80s uh it was a great time to buy key issue books but unfortunately it was stolen nothing i can do about it now so i definitely paid a lot more than 80 dollars now but i think i still paid under what it's valued as I paid a total of $1,200, and that's for that's after I made a deal with the seller to get an even better price than what they were offering. So communication is key. Uh, not everybody's going to say yes, but the ones that do make it worth your while. So don't expect it to work every time. But the times it does, you're going to be very happy. So uh, I'm going to say it's about a 6.0 to a 7.0 conservatively. Uh, because I have so many lower-graded comics, I've gotten really good at grading lower comics. Not so much yet in the higher graded because I don't have that many chances to do it. So I'm going to kind of undergrade and see what happens. I think this will probably be at least a 7.0. But I would rather have it wrong and be undergrading than be wrong and overgrade. You get a better feeling when you find out it's higher than what you thought it was. So I'm staying conservative. I'm going to say, like again, a 6.0 to 7.0 off-white to white pages. Again, another book I would highly recommend to get. All right, this is one you saw couple of days ago on my live show with that wonderful box that it came in. Uh, an update with this book. The seller did contact me. I sent them a message. I was very kind. I explained the situation, showed him the picture, and said that um, he can either do a full refund and I'll send it back, or if he wanted to do a partial refund, uh, I would be perfectly fine with that because the, the comic did bend and a pressing is going to be needed, and it did put a minor stress on the um, staples, so the bend did put, pull out, not pull them out completely, but you could see it kind of pulled away a little bit, so that, that did lower it probably a 0.5 amount. So a pressing is going to be needed on this book. Definitely a dry cleaning would help it as well. But this is Amazing Spider-Man number three. Uh, this is the first appearance of Doc Ock. Um, I have a 1.0 of this book, so this one's definitely an improvement. Um, 
it's hard to see, but there's some color break increases along the crease and along the edge, a lot of color loss. So it doesn't extend too much along the actual cover, but there's some color break increases on the bottom. That's to be expected, especially in the darker area. Now, when I bought this, the eBay seller said this is about a 5.0. Even without what happened with the delivery process, I don't believe this is a 5.0. Um, but again, they were kind enough to do a partial refund. I mean, I wasn't looking for thousands of dollars to take advantage, and they appreciated the fact that I was polite and understanding, and they did apologize and took responsibility for the uh, cardboard they chose. So the price now lowered down to a 1449.20, so 1449.20, which I think is a really good deal for this book. But I'm going to say conservatively between a 4.0. And again, I'm going to go up to the 5.0 based on what they recommended and see what happens. But I do not believe that it will get to a 5.0. You never know because there are some parts of the back that could definitely uh, handle a pressing. So we're going to see. But even at a 4.0, I'm still going to be happy in this grade, especially with the reduction in price. And again, off-white to white pages. All right, last book. This is one I have always wanted. I've seen this so expensive, and I finally got an opportunity. I was so nervous when I won this. I was shaking five minutes after I won it. And that's what I love about this. I get so excited and have so much fun with purchasing comics, especially key issues. It's just my thing. Um, it, it's exciting for me to get first appearances and books I've always wanted. I was literally my sh I was like so nervous, like fun filled nervous waiting for the auction to end. I had my bid up to twenty one hundred dollars for this book. Luckily, I didn't have to pay that price, but it still wouldn't have been bad considering. But this book, I mean, it shows the passion that I have for comics. This is Brave and the Bold, issue number twenty eight, which is the first appearance of the Justice League. Um, I have Justice League of America 1. I think it's only a 1.5 grade. But again, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Low grade is better than no grade. I was very happy with that. I'm even happier with this because this one's going to be a still a lower grade, but definitely higher than a 1.5. Um, I paid only $1,365.20 for this book, which may seem like a lot. But when you hear the grade, I've seen people on eBay... The lowest one I saw for this kind of grade, if it comes out to what I think it might be, was about $2,000. So I, and this wasn't a, a buy it now. This was an actual auction ending um, situation. So I won it with an auction. And I, again, I was shaking. I was so happy after I won this. Um, I'm more of a Marvel fan than a DC fan, but when it comes to books like this, how can you not love it? So, I mean, I will proudly get this displayed and graded, and one of the reasons why I get them graded is, first of all, to get an idea of the grades, make sure they are not, you know, trimmed or restored in any way or something that I might not have known about, but it, the main reason, it protects the comics better. Um, being in plastic and that solid material around it, um, is going to definitely protect it better than any bag and board, even Mylar's. So for me, it's a no-brainer to do it. And with me, even though I get the discount with PGX, I would still use them for the most part because they're the cheapest. And um, people say, well, they sell less. Well, key issues, they're not going to sell for too much less. And if I spend a lot less than what they're worth, then I'm still going to make my money. And even if I thought that it might sell too low, I can always crack it out of the case. So people, you know... Do things for your own reasons. Don't go by what everybody else says. But like I said, I don't, well, I don't know if I mentioned the price, but I paid $1,365.25. Um, I'm going to predict roughly about a 2.5 to 3.5. Now, there's a lot of dirt here. A dry cleaning is definitely going to help that, and it could definitely use a pressing. So I don't know how much that's going to increase a book like this, but um, is the cover detached? No, it's not. Okay. So, um, again, I predicted 2.5 to 3.5. Um, it does have tape here and on the inside. But to me, that's no big deal, especially in lower grade. I mean, you can get uh, grades up to like a 6.0 with tape. So the tape doesn't really affect these books as much as you think it does, unless it's like a super high grade book. So I'm predicting, like I said, about a 2.5 to a 3.5. If the dry cleaning gets out all of this like dirt, especially along the edges, and the dry cleaning flattens it out a little bit, it could go up to a four. 
I would go with Static. But even if it's a 2.5, I'm still going to be very happy with this book. Uh, staples are attached, so this is definitely going to be um, a fairly decent lower grade book and one I will be so proud to display. So those are the books. We got Brave and the Bold 28, first appearance of Justice League. Amazing Spider-Man number three, first appearance of Doc Ock. Amazing Spider-Man number 14, first appearance of the Green Goblin and his flying magical vacuum. And last but not least, Strange Tales 110, first appearance of Doctor Strange. So like I said, by the time you see this, um, the books will have already been mailed out. Sorry for the delay. Just had other videos, especially ones to show you what these books were. So that I think is important. Otherwise, you'd be like, where did these come from? And I definitely had to put out last four, the last four from last month. I apologize for forgetting about that. Been an interesting month. So that's it. Uh, don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you want to be one, you just have to be a subscriber. And if you ask for one, I will put you up on the list ahead of anybody else. And uh, just remember, a bunch of people did ask, so it might take a little time. So be patient. Keep watching. And those of you who don't get the surprise subscriber shout out or already got it, and um, you watch until the end, in the comment section, show us your power viewer status that you've seen the entire video and give a little shout out to our shout out. They like it. Most of the people that get those shout outs ask for them. So it means something to them. It may be no big deal to you, but it means something to someone else. So show them the love in the comment section. So hit the like button if you like these videos. Stay tuned for the live videos when I get these back. I have other comics that are on their way. Just, um, just They'll get here eventually, but I don't know the grades just as long as you don't know the grades, but we'll learn them together. So hopefully you'll check those out when I get them. And um, hit subscribe if you haven't. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching, guys. And this time, I'm going to make the comic zoom into the camera. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.